further part, Jacob and Chase are hunting on the east side of Mayet Point. The boys are reaching deep into their bag of tricks. You have to try to do the old shish kebab line. Pick your stick and drive it in the mud to where it's just above the water. You take your chicken and you set it right on top of it. They call it a shish kebab. Oh, tree shaker, tree shaker. The first line has signs of a monster. Oh, get that gun, Jacob. Come here, big boy. It's big and furious. Oh, oh my God. Hold on, Jay. Shoot him. Ooh, he's coming, huh? Come on, big sucker. Come on, big boy. He's pulling hard. Yeah. He's fired up. Oh. Whoa. Shoot him. Hurry up. First line in the morning, huh? Shish kebab. No good way to start the morning. One tag closer. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Jacob and Chase have put two more gators in the boat and are down to their last tag. So far, the new shish kebab bait they're using has paid off with a big 10-footer. We got a hot line here. Look like the shish kebab line paid off, my dude. Lines down, and if they land a gator, they'll be tagged out. I see ripples coming from the water. What we got, Chase Michael? Feels good. I can tell you right now, he's gonna be good. It's a colossal alligator. Oh, and he's pissed, dude. And he's giving Chase all he can handle. Wow. What a beast. Uh, wow. Be careful. Be careful. Get a shot. Can't get a good shot. Move, move. Hurry up. Aye, aye, aye. Jacob can't get a clean shot. Come here, big boy. Get a shot, Jake. And the beast's powerful jaws are seconds from snapping the line. Shoot him. Hurry! Jacob and Chase have tagged out for the season. What a way to freak hey. out. With a monster that's well over 10 feet. Two. This trophy gator will bring in over $400. Listen, listen to this sound, listen. My favorite sound in the world. Click, 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 click. Let's go, boy. Let's get it. Meanwhile, yeah. here we go. In the northern swamps around Marion, Jeremy Pruitt and his stepdad, David Ladart, are up at sunrise. Let's roll, buddy. They've got just two tags left, so the end of their season is in sight and there's just one gator they want. Base the ace, we're coming for you. For years, they've been trying to hook the legendary bull gator of the northern bayou, the beast of the east. I've been trying to get this gator for 20 years. He ain't one to play with. And he's longer than my 14-foot boat and just as wide. He's really an awesome alligator. And when you catch this one, the world's going to know about it. We got to make something happen today. Today. They've got just two chances left to get him in the boat. It looks good up there. This season started off. I told David, I'm going to make it to my best ability to catch this alligator with you because he's been wanting it for a long time. So if I don't catch him, I'm really going to be heartbroken. I'm looking for him. They're using every trick they got to try to lure in the beast. We just got to get out there and get it done. We got wajita sauce and we got monkey milk. 
I'd take a leak on a beehive if I knew it'd catch the beast of east today. <laughs> we ain't holding nothing back. <coughs> oh, that's terrible. The rank smelling sauce will help. But they're also gonna need to get lucky. Man, I know he's on there. Oh, yeah. From the tension on the line, golly, the size of the monster's head, it can only be damn the beast of the east. Battle begins. That's what we're looking for, Dang. That's right it. Golly. The 14 foot dinosaur pulls with hundreds of pounds of brute force. Jeremy's in the fight of his life. Oh. He's wearing you out. Yeah, he's wearing me out. Come on, buddy. You got it in you. I'll let it pull you in. Jeremy gives it all he's got, but the behemoth is 850 pounds of solid muscle. That's what we're looking for, Dave, That's right there. The 850-pound beast of the east is on the line, and wrangling it is taking everything Jeremy's got. Oh, Holy. Don't let him pull you in, man. Holy moly. Oh, man, he's a baby. Come on, you want to tag to me? Ain't letting you outdo me, old man. Uh, that's him, David. Size that head. Look at that alligator. Man. That is him, baby. Man, that is him. him. He's 800 man. pounds. There you go. It's an endurance match. And Jeremy's wearing down. Oh, baby. Size that head. Holy. Oh. <laughs> that is a big baby. <laughs> Get ready, David. He finally manages to get David a shot. Slap it there, David. Come on. Slap it there. There he is, David. Are you loaded? Go ahead and let that hammer fly. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! Yeah, yeah. They got the beast. That's a nice damn alligator right there. That's him, baby. That is That's him. him. Last tag, last line. Come down. We got him. That's huge, man. That's him, man. Damn good. Thank you, Jesus, for letting us catch this big alligator. He's one of them we want to show off right there. Put him on the hood of my truck. Holy <laughs> <laughs> oh, mother. Oh, man. Man, finally got him. Patience finally paid off. He is something else. That's a big damn alligator oh, right there. It's a beast, Dave. Oh, he is. Woo! Oh, look at the size look of that Look head on that gator. He's just a beast, man. How much you reckon he weighs, Jeremy? Over 850 pounds. He'll hurt you, man. He will kill you. Nice tag, dude. <laughs> Let's go show him off, buddy. A lot of people can only dream it. That's we right. We did it. We're the alligator men. That's what we are. I can't quit looking at him. He's so big. We'll catch the big dogs. You can't run with the big dogs get off the porch. Sixty-seven miles away, in Bayou Black, Frenchie and G are on a mission of their own. Uh, what's wrong, bro? You get no, you get no rest? No. You dreaming all night? Hey, I had alligator around my pillow, and I knew it was gonna be a rough night. I saw an alligator earlier this season. That I was starting to have dreams about. Just looking at the size of the head, I knew he was huge. 
I thought that this one would make a record. He was an A1 trophy. I had alligator dancing all night long, sure. All around my uh, head and around my pillow, sure. It's time to uh, put it to rest. I'm trying to see what you're going to feed your dream gator. Julian got this. Julian, uh, beef milk. Chicken. You putting three different baits on there? Yep. Frenchy's convinced his triple bait buffet is the lure that'll finally bring him his dream gator. Just mixing it all up. You have a little bit of everything. They will have something that he, hopefully he will like. Then to top it all, a little salt and pepper, special. Uh, it's a special sauce, it's a fish oil, and chicken oil, uh, and beef oil. Uh, like I you say, you got a little everything right there. So hopefully I can catch him. Right here, he got the whole buffet. That's the best happy meal he could possibly have. Yeah, I'm, I'm just brain dead or uh, thinking one thing. <laughs> All about that dream gator. All right, look like it lying down. Look like it tangled up in some trees. That right though. Let's see what our surprise is. Let's see what we got here. When you pull on the line, it feel like you pull on a tree. It don't move. It seems like the alligator is dead. That's a log. Come here, log. The Cajun log. Oh, yeah. The Cajun log, come here. I think we ran into a big one. Oh, yeah. As the massive beast begins to fight, it's obvious to Frenchie this could be his dream gator. Get ready. I'm ready. Oh! Oh! Hey! You ready to put a shot for him now? Yeah. His eyes still open. Hit him again. Yeah, watch your hand. Salt and pepper rolls again. Oh, yeah. That look like the dream of here. Here. Finally, we got Dream Gator right here. We got him. That look like a, a real trophy here. Frenchie's Dream Gator measures an impressive 12 feet 2 inches, bringing their total haul to over $2,500. Not a bad day's work. Dream Gator definitely put one hell of a fight on for us. He got some power. Yeah, he got power. You get the whole 100% turbo. <laughs> <laughs> so this the dream one? This is the dream one right here. It was our dream and his nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve miles outside of Homa. I don't see it. R.J. and J. Paul have something hooked on their signature nutria-baited line. Oh, my God. <laughs> the big boy ate him. This half-eaten gator has been cannibalized by a much bigger monster. He cut him in half like a shark. He wanted that nutria. They wanted that neutral bad. From the front shoulders down, he ate him. That's big, bro. That's big. There's a beast in this area that can tear up a seven and a half, almost eight foot alligator like that. Look at, look at one tooth size. Look, that's power. That's big. It really made the hair stand up on my back, you know, because I, I, I felt his presence. We call him the Nugaru. The Nugaru means like a, like a monster coming. Get ready. Nugaru. We got us another big one coming. Nugaru, he's a terrible beast. He'll terrorize all your gators. So that's what we named him. He took the best parts he off. He took all the meat off. It just bombed. I'm just going to take the head. 
Determined to catch the culprit, RJ knows just how to lure in this colossus. I'm gonna give him what he wants. The new guy, who we ain't done with him because he's pushing 13 and a half, 14 feet. Just made a bait right here for the new guy. Got neutral and we got alligator. He's one of a kind, and once we catch him, I think he's gonna be our record breaker. I'm gonna stick it right here and let that juice run down. And you're gonna smell that. The dinner bell's ringing. How you catch a monster? By being a monster. It's on. Nugaru is coming down. Ain't nothing like good neutral bait, bro. Neutral compared to a chicken, there's no comparison. Alligators, they know what a neutral smells like. They don't know what a chicken smells like. We got some fur to make the bacon wrap. So when you put a, a, a neutral on a hook, especially if it's been beat up and it's bleeding, they know exactly what that smell is. And it works. This is especially for the Nugaru. The Nugaru is uh, it's just bad. It's a bad, it's a monster. We're going to catch it. He's going to be caught. Good to go. Check this one now. He wrapped around our pole and all, bro. Look, he's in the grass. That's a nice gator, Paula. You never know. Might be a new guy, too. You hear? I think he's tangled to something else, Paula. Look, he's not coming. Man, I know he's a big boy. Well, grab him with the hook. With the, with the big log pole hook, and we'll, we'll pull him out. If he takes off this pole, it's gonna go crazy, dude. Watch yourself. If he comes in the boat with us, I'm jumping out. Using the pole, Jay Paul carefully tries to ease the beast away from the thick grass and branches. Okay, pull him out, pull him out. Hey, come down, boy, come down. Pull him out, pull him out. The big boy right here, big 10 footer, man. It might be a new guy, do we? Grab that root. Okay, all right. There you go, there you go. The big boy right here, the big 10 footer, man. Yeah, it might be the new guy, dude. Wow. Hold on, Ophrey, hold on. Whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. they're gonna get you. Get the gun ready, Jay. I'm gonna try and get you a shot, bro. You get ready. Coming up, coming up. Go! Oh. You know, this is a good 10 foot plug gator, but it's not big enough to beat Nugaru. Boom. Very disappointing, you know. Uh... But hey, he's old, he's a big boy. He's a big gator, so guess what? They don't get big from being stupid. I guarantee that's 11. Easy 11. Think so? Although it isn't the monster thereafter, this gator brings the day's profits to $1,700 so far. Meanwhile, over in Bayou Black, with the end of the season approaching, Frenchy and G are hoping to turn the day around after their first catch was mangled by a cannibal they've named Brutus. Lying down. Front leg off, back leg. He did killed it. When you have a big uh, aggressive male killing all your alligators, you get that. He ain't gonna have nothing. He the bully of the block and everything. And, you know, bully and we do not accept in this one. He's around here. He's hungry. Oh, we're gonna get him. Frenchy and G have hatched a plan to solve their cannibal problem. They've taken a detour to buy gator scraps and hope to beat the beast at his own game. Special beat. 
alligator scraps. We got with the buy and everything for the scrap pieces of alligators that they use, like the throats and the tongue in the stomach and everything else. We get a bucket of that, and we get brutish exactly what you want. We're going to feed him his own kind. Alligator is a cannibal, so we're switching it up. Small intestines. Pretty soon, in front of you will be a doctor. Let me name all the body parts. <laughs> you got to beat him at his own game and give him exactly what he want on his buffet. Come and get you, boy. After dropping off their pile of chewed up gators, Frenchie and G return to the lines they've set with gator scraps to trap the cannibal Brutus once and for all. Yeah, we're in Brutus' uh, living room right now. Hopefully, uh, we got him. Brutus coming for a boat ride. Ain't no if and buts about it. This one, we have to have our game on because uh, I don't want to lose Brutus. He, he could be as big as anywhere from 11, 12 to 13 foot alligator. He's a world trophy to me if I catch him. Let's see if he took the bait. Might have something. Look at the pole all twisted up and cocksided. Line tight, look. Yep, yep, look at the line. Yep, that's good. Hopefully, we got him. We're going to see what we have. Ooh. What do you feel like, G? Got him? Boy, you feel heavy. Feel it? Oh, yeah, that's a ton. All right. Yep. Oh. oh, yeah, that's him. Game on now. One look at the size of this monster, and Frenchie knows they found their foe. Come on, boy. Give me that shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you Talking about. There you go, Brutus. Take that. You going to that bank? He thought he was smart, but he can't outsmart the smartest. Yep. We got him. That's Brutus. It's accountable. When they've been eating up everything around here, I feel good to get him. Old Brutus, because he was destroying a lot of our gators that was just supposed to go to the market. They all nicked up and bruised up. <sighs> all right. The market don't want them like that. You lose money. That's a nice size gator. Brutus measures in at 12 and a half feet long and will earn more than $200 at the buyer. Salt and pepper strikes again, huh? Strike again. I don't think Brutus would be too happy with me and G because uh, we came out here to do our job and we did our job. The swamp be happy, you going. That's what you get for being mean. <laughs> Although they didn't end up with the payday they hoped for, Frenchie and G head home knowing their hunting grounds are finally free of one big menace. 123 miles away, in Pecan Island. Come on, Reba. Come on. Homesteaders Christy Broussard and her husband String Bean are rushing to finish morning chores so they can hit the water. Chip's pulling up. I wonder what he needs. But before they can load up for the swamp, their neighbor pays a visit. I got a problem. I want to see if y'all could help me out. What's that? I got something eating my calves. What is it? An alligator? I think it's a big alligator because I lost two calves and I can't find them. Well, where's it at? What property is it? It's in Pecone Island. Well, you got a boat launch? No boat launch. That's the only thing. You have to get to it maybe by horse. That'd be doing me a big favor. And you can't get out there by truck? No truck, no boat. Even though it might be costing you, you just can't leave people in a bind. Around here, people rely on neighbors and friends uh, for help. We're way out here. It's almost like expected. And that's just, that's just what we do. All right, let's get to work. Man, and this is where his cows were? With no other way into the pasture, the homesteaders mount up and search for signs of the cow killer. 
Look, this is what that stuff I've been eating on. That's what he's been eating on. Yep. I think our best bet is to bait it with a piece of that cow. That's what it's been eating. We know there's a big alligator out there. We've seen what he could do to a cow. He's out there. We just got to catch him. So you want to hang this on there? Yeah. Does it stink? Smell it. Ooh. Save some bait, use the cow hide, and let's see what happens. He should take what he's been eating on for the last week. Yeah. Oh, it looks like this line's down. Look, it's wrapped around the bait pole. Who knows, he might be in the grass. I see a tight line all the way across the levee. Man, it might be a big one. But see how long that line is? If it yeah. comes running out, it'll go this far. Yeah. So we put right, the horses so over here. you want to put here. the horses out of reach. This is real dangerous. When an alligator's on land, you don't have protection from anything. He's heavy? Yeah, he's heavy. He's really heavy. Be careful. With a bloodthirsty Goliath on the line, String Bean is in a tug of war for his life. Don't get a rope, Bert. Oh. Go wrap that thing. Hey, this is very dangerous. I'm aware of it. Oh, look how big he is. This has to be the one that took his cap. I'm going to just try to pull him out of there. He's, he's big and he's mad. Pull him. Pull him. Watch out. Be careful. Oh, he's mad. Look right there. Now you can go get him. At last, Christy and String Bean have corralled the cattle killer. I can't wait to tell Chip. We got him. We got that big alligator that's many calves. Me having kids and cows, I understand how much it means for somebody to help you out and help you out with your, with your business. And then the next time, you know, the roles are reversed. If I get in a bind, he'll do the same thing for me. You know, that's how we are. And that's how you have to be over here. You have to rely on your friends. We help each other out by doing things like that. That's what I'm talking about. 